I'm trying to figure out how abortions is considered health care. It creates mental health issues in women that get abortions. I know a woman that had gotten an abortion maybe about 30 some odd years ago. To this day, she's an alcoholic. Whenever I see her, she start crying. She breaks down and cry and talk about how she should have never killed her baby. But people don't realize it's a child. Yes, it's a fetus. But even in the Bible, God said that he knew you from your mother's womb, which means God is a spirit. The Bible says those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So if God is a spirit, although that child is not developed yet in the flesh, everything that child needs to grow and to function in this plane of existence is in that fetus. That baby spirit, the baby soul, the baby consciousness is in that fetus. Okay, so when you destroy that fetus, you're destroying a life, a God-given life, a life that feels, a life that breathes, you know? So the Most High said he knew you from your mother's womb. So that should tell you right there, it's a baby. And that woman is haunted to this day because she had an abortion. I would like to once again sound the alarm that the Democrat Party is trying to use black Americans as a scapegoat to win your votes without giving you anything. They don't want you to have reparations. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris didn't even think about black Americans. They had did something past laws for every other group except for the so-called black Americans. Once again, black Americans have been left out and have not been taken care of by the party that they voted for. But before I get started, I want you guys to pay attention and I would also like for you guys to share this video, make this video viral. Because black people, once again, need to stop voting Democrat. Black Americans need to stop listening to CNN, MSNBC, all of these far left news stations that's only designed to program your mind. They know you like a book. Now the Supreme Court had just got done ruling in favor of New York when it comes to gun control. But then there's an image that they posted on CNN where they had a black man in cuffs and made him the face of domestic dispute, of beating up his girlfriend. And this is what they're using to justify or to get people to back them to support the gun ban. But in reality, they're only disarming legal citizens. Criminals don't follow the law. Second of all, I saw another article where they had a transgender dude that was talking about or encouraging black women to get an abortion so that they don't grow up to be incarcerated. Because they're saying that there's going to be an increase of black incarceration because black women aren't able to get abortion. So you are not able to murder your children to keep them from growing up being in the justice system or non-justice system. So to keep your child from growing up going to jail, the best advice they can give you is to abort your unborn child. These are the scare tactics that they're using to manipulate the minds of the so-called black Americans that don't think for themselves. 
I want you to take a listen to something. And then I'm going to briefly speak on this. And I want you to feed back and tell me what you think. They've made black women the face of abortion. Now, I've heard so many black Americans and, you know, other people talk about statistics and how white women are the ones that get the most abortions. But I want you to listen to what CNN says. Now, this is the news source that a lot of black people love to listen to. Listen to what CNN says about black women. Breaking down Roe v. Wade could impact women of color more severely than anyone else. A Duke University study estimates that a complete abortion ban could increase black maternal deaths by 33%. Black women are already three to four times more likely to die giving birth compared to white women. I want to bring in Kanika Harris from the Black Women's Health Imperative. Kanika, those are some damning stats, and this is personal from you. Talk to us about your own experience as a black woman having an abortion and what impact this ruling will have on women of color. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Um, I never thought in my 40s that I would be in a situation where I would have to contemplate an abortion. I was married. I had children, um, you know, substantially employed and didn't know that I would end up in that situation. However, due to my previous pregnancies, due to experiencing trauma and racism during pregnancy and delivery, um, it was recommended that if I were to get pregnant again, that my uterine walls had stretched so thin from my pregnancies, having two twin pregnancies, that it wasn't a good idea for me to move forward with the pregnancy. And despite our best efforts, my husband and I, we found ourselves pregnant when I had one and a half year old twins and we had to make the very difficult decision um, to pursue that pregnancy or terminate that pregnancy. You know, living in D.C., recognizing that we, black people in D.C. Rep uh, um, represent 50 percent of the population in D.C., but 90 percent of the maternal deaths in D.C. So what do you think that is? It's it's a lot of reasons. One, it's it's racism and racist care both disrespectful care in hospitals. I've gone to two different hospitals in D.C. to deliver and have received disrespectful care where I wasn't listened to. Um, and additionally, it's racism over our life course. You know, from the time we're born to the time we reach reproductive age, um, there's 20 years of research to show that um, the stress that we endure because of racist policies, because of trying to overcome and circumvent the system to get terminal degrees to succeed, that weathers our reproductive organs and can put us in higher risk when we're pregnant. Now, see, I find that to be quite interesting because if you are experiencing racism in the medical system, wouldn't it be wise, instead of you murdering your unborn children, to sue the medical facility that you feel that you're being discriminated against? Wouldn't that be the smart thing to do? Why would you take that out on your unborn child? See, racism has nothing to do with you making the choice and decision to abort your unborn child. You talk about racism and stress. Think of what your ancestors had to endure during slavery. Think of what your ancestors had to endure during the civil rights movement. The 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. What black women deal with today is nothing compared to what they had to deal with, but yet they, your ancestors, did not murder their unborn children. So why is it that black women are the ones now that's targeted, although you say that white women abort their children more than the so-called black Americans? So why is it that black women... Now, are they looking at the fact that poor black women are not able to get that care or they're experiencing discrimination or racism? Does that have anything to do with how many black women present themselves, especially if they're dealing with low income women with a ghetto mentality? 
So, of course, if you, behind every reaction, there's a reaction. So, if you have low-income women that's going to these medical facilities and they're acting ghetto, for the better term, don't you expect these white women or this medical facility to respond with the same energy that you give them? Now, don't misquote me on this. I'm not saying it's the fault of black women. I'm just saying that you can't use Roe versus Wade as an excuse to abort your children so that the white race can grow. That's the whole plot behind this game. That's why they're using the face of black women. It's interesting because off the topic, I was watching TV and this Snapple commercial came on and there was a black dude on there, a gay black dude, talking about fruity Snapples. And I'm like, they made black people the face of homosexuality, black men are the face of homosexuality, black women are the face of abortion, and then when they talk about gun bans and domestic dispute, they put the image of a black man in cuffs. Although it were white men and other races of men that perform these so-called mass shootings. But who do they have on the front line protesting for them? The so-called black people that got nothing from the government. Not even a law to protect you from racist police. So they can murder you in the street and nothing is done about that because you mean nothing to them but votes. And black people support them loyally. They're, they're so loyal to the Democrat Party in spite of what they're doing to you. They want you to continue to watch CNN. They made Trump, they made the Republicans, the conservatives, even Fox News to be racist. But yet, they're the ones that's spewing racism and discrimination against blacks. Joe Biden is an open racist. But you make excuses for Joe Biden's racism. You made excuses for Hillary Clinton and her racism. But when it comes to the opposing party, the one that they programmed you and manipulated you to fight against, but the, the, game is, the game is insane, and black Americans need to wake up. You need to turn off CNN. You need to turn off MSNBC. You need to turn off all of these news stations that's programming your mind to destroy yourselves. So now the white race is trying to save itself, but yet it's got... Black women aborting their own children. Putting fear inside you. Saying that 33% of black women are going to die if they don't murder their children. Or the incarceration rate is going to grow in the black community because black women did not abort their children. And you fall for the game every single time you fall for it. And then you wonder why you're on the bottom struggling. And trust me, they see you. But they're going to do nothing for you. Because they got you right where they want you to be. You are a sleeping Terracell. You're only good to vote for them. 
to put them in power, to keep them in power, to protest, to be the attack dogs to their enemies, and then you go back to sleep and you're content. How can you be content during these difficult times? Because you're not working, you're dependent upon the government to support you, and they're very limited to what you give, they give you, but at the same time, they're sending money over to the Ukraine. They're helping every, every other country but you. They gave illegal immigrants reparation or talked about giving them reparations, putting them through school, making sure that their children had infant formula while you can't find it on the shelves. And then all they have to do is put a black face on television and say you're going to die if you don't murder your children and you fall for it. Or you're going to be locked up in jail because those children that you give birth to are going to be criminals. That's going to be incarcerated. And you fall for it. It's the fear tactics that you really need to let go. Let go of the Democrat Party. This may be the last warning that black Americans will receive. It may be your last warning. Heed to these warnings. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.